What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020, uh, 21-22. Panini Donruss Soccer just sold out. This is the uh, Hobby Edition. Two-box break. Random Countries number five. So this sold out late last night, uh, pretty much when Joe was about to go off air. Uh, so doing this first. And also number six is already sold out. Uh, this is the second to last uh, two-box break before the case ends. And I don't think we've seen any kabooms. So we're chasing some kabooms. Everybody's chasing some Erlen Halan. That's his first kaboom with his uh, national team. Uh, this is a 17-spot break, all-card ship. You know, of course, please note some countries don't have any autographs, but of course, uh, chase some pretty nice hits and inserts. Here's the dice roller. Here's the cousin names. We're uncle. All the way down to Michael. Then we got Argentina down to Uruguay. And uh, here we go. Roll. <clears throat> two to two four times. One. Two. Three. And four. Robert Runkle down to Derek. One. Two. Three. Four. Seven will be a new case. Because there's only four boxes left. Two here for this one and two here for six. So there's usually, what, 12 boxes in a case? So yeah, it matches up. Every six breaks, there'll be a new case for the next following one. <laughs> All right, so Robert, you have Portugal, as well as the United States, Spain, Colombia, France, Derek with Italy, um, uh, Michael with Uruguay, as well as Poland, Robert with Netherlands and Argentina, Michael with Mexico, Kevin with Brazil, uh, Robert with England, with the Sweden-Norway-Croatia combo. Michael with Belgium, Germany, and Derek with Korea, Republic. So, I don't know if there's any trades. Anybody want to make any trades, but if anybody would like, I'll give you guys a quick minute for trades. I'll go through a couple orders in the meantime. <clears throat> Everybody loves Donner Soccer. Jesus Christ. Good Lord. More spots are selling. <clears throat> Diamond Icons is very is very good too, man. Like I said, here, here are the links of breaks that are close. All right, these are these are breaks that are literally just spots away from selling out. Hoops, not a promo break, but down to four. Icons, wax party promo break, boom. Tops Chrome, wax party promo break, down to seven, boom. Not a promo break, but has a two hundred fifty dollar giveaway. Bowman Chrome or Bowman Draft Jumbo, boom. You know, like shit. That's already like. One, two, three, four, five different breaks that we're going to add to the schedule at some point. And remember, guys, Bowman Draft's going to take me about an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes. You know, so that's going to eat up a lot of time. So let's quickly try to get that done early. So uh, we don't run out of time and can't do it today. You know, another Donner Soccer's probably going to pop off. Maybe a third. <laughs> Who knows? A lot of that stuff is moving. So there's just plenty of breaks we can do tonight, guys. We're going to be really busy. <clears throat> All right, I'm not seeing any trades, so let's close the trade window then.
Yeah, Timo, that actually already sold out, but the fact is that it's tied into a team random. So if you look at the team random that fills Pikachu team number four and random team number two. <clears throat> so I can't break that until we saw that team filler. So it looks like nine out of the top 13, nine out of the 13 customers will get a spot back at least worth the spot price. Um, or more, like the Bears. And then the bottom like half, three or four uh, customers will probably won't get their spot price back, but they're guaranteed a team. Yeah, well, you know, he's no longer with us, but I think Panini still has all the rights. And I don't think the family members cut off the, the contract, I assume, like how uh, Vanessa Bryant did with Kobe. So I think that's why his autographs are still around, and they probably have a lot of stickers of his to go around. So we're going to kind of skim through the paper base. Go through there. Dun, dun, dun. We have a Bernardo Silva. I'm pretty sure, Wabo, you don't... We probably will never get to see how many stickers and cards players actually sign once they're retired, but they sign a lot. Ronaldo. Guardado. Um, I already threw the box in the trash, sorry. <laughs> kaboom! Saka, kaboom. For England. There we go. There we go. That's for uh, England. And that is going to Robert Runkle. Very beautiful. Rodri. And Trent Alexander Arnold. What's up, Adam? Jan. Benar. Nicolo Barella. Italy to uh, 149. What up? Cancelo. Frankie Dijon. Calvert Lewin. Yes, sir. T 
Timo Werner. And a Ronaldo Marvels press proof. That looks actually really good. These, oh, actually, you know, I'm going to say a lot of these actually have a lot of white tips on the corners. Usually I see it more at the bottom than the top. Still a nice one there, though. This one actually looks much better. And Erlen Halan at 349. There you go. Norway. We have Norway. Robert Ronco. It's been a pretty solid box. And we still haven't even uh, gone through the autograph yet. And we got for USA, Murica. Jordan Morris, the beautiful game. United States, that is Robert Ronco killing this break, Robert. Dang. Yeah, the soccer kabooms go for some good money. Matthias Norman. And we got a press proof, Rodolfo. Marvels. Thomas Rodriguez. And Joel Filesh, and that is a uh, zero gravity press group. Olsen. Dude, Bellingham press proof, and we have Ferry and Torres to 199. Christian Pulisic, Kick Kings, USA. We got Giovanni Reina for the United States. Nice break. Ibrahimovic, Marvels. Romelu. Macias. And we have for Poland. Zelinski. This is 49. Do you know if the auto was hit, of the, hit out of the mosaic football hobby? Yes, they have it. It was? All right, very nice. And kaboom in the first box. Don't worry, guys. We still have more. We have another box, at least. All right, again, guys. So, again, we're going to run it right back and do number six after this. And then we're going to mix it all up. Doing some baseball, some basketball. All that good stuff.
Yeah, I'd, I'd have to text Nick. He'd, he'd probably be the one in charge of that. See what, what if he decides it's time or maybe we need a, need a couple more teams to sell. I'm not sure what how many teams are left exactly. Bum, bum, dum, dum. Uh, I think we are a little bit deep Porter. There's been a couple people out. Uh, but uh, I want to say that uh, I think we shipped out yesterday all the way up until over the weekend. Last weekend? I don't know. I think the... If you look at the schedule right there, my wife has the shipping tab. And it'll tell you right there what's there. And it looks like everything from last week is pending, but I think it's shipping out today, I want to say. So... Yeah, I think we were a little bit behind. You know, Bowman. Bowman's another, Bowman's another whole beast. So that's probably why it's delayed. And we only have a few people sorting at the time. With a lot of people out... Everybody's having to rover everywhere. Valderrama to 99. Wonder if he's related to Wilmer. Jordan. Classic. No problem, Deep Porter. Sorry about that, buddy. I'm sure uh, we'll get all that caught up. When Bowman comes around, usually it's always an extra delay. It's a lot of sorting. You'll get in eventually, Deporter. Don't worry. Might not get in the next 10, 15 years, but you'll get in in like 20, 30 plus years. You watch and see. Uh, Thor again, Hazard. <laughs> you know who will be a Hall of Famer, though? Is Jason Kelsey. Well, there's already a whole lot of mess of players that I think should be in already. But the fact that they're not in is beyond crazy. I mean... I just think people... Look, this is the one thing is that I just think a lot of people forget how good a lot of players were pre-social media days. And that's the thing. Like, you know, just imagine if, like, to, if, uh, like, T.O. was playing all around social media days, like, when it was big, like, in the 2010s, like, when he started playing and all that. He'd be such a bigger superstar than he was now. You know, and I think, I think the one thing is that those, those quarterbacks that played in the early 2000s where it was still a big, like, run, run, uh, run uh, offense more than passing. Because, remember, there was only, like, I don't even know, I don't want to say Tom Brady in the beginning of his first handful of years. They were a strong defense and a good running team. Tom Brady just, you know, managed the game well. I'm not saying he didn't throw TDs, but he wasn't putting up 5,000-yard numbers like he is now, I'll tell you that. 
you know? I think there was only, like, a few quarterbacks in the early 2000s. Late 90s, early 2000s was, like, just Peyton Manning and, like, you know, who else? Like, Drew Brees and those guys? Like, they were literally only putting up stats of, like, over 4,000 passing yards and this and that. Like, if the normal was, like, you know, two, 3,000 passing yards. All I'm saying is, that, like, for, for McNabb's uh, point is that he has better stats than some players that are already in the Hall of Fame. And some of them are in the Hall of Fame only because they want Super Bowls. Which I get it. You know, that's that's where you play to win right at Super Bowls. But Super Bowls is more of a team award, not more not more of a player individual. You know? Oh, yeah, but it was just like Marino and like Elway and those guys, you know, in the 80s. You know? It was, there was only X amount of players now... To be honest, how many players now throw over 4,500 yards in a season? Before, that was unheard of. I think me me and other customers are going... We, I have a little group chat with some customers on IG. And we were going through the analytics. There was only like two or three quarterbacks every year in the uh, early 2000s that were throwing over 4,000 passing yards. Or like close to, you know, over 4,000. Now, there was like almost 15 different quarterbacks with over 4,000 passing yards. So, it's definitely a passing yard, a passing league now. Compared to the early 2000s. You know, now you're getting players like... Even Justin Herbert throwing over 5,000. You know? So, of course, those kind of... Those quarterback stats are going to look amazing. But I guess you have to try to just compare it to the era they were playing. Oh, it's all good. I mean, I like to have these debates. Obviously, we all have different opinions. I guess just trying to prove a point to one another. Of why we think so-and-so can... You know, get an award or be a Hall of Famer. Is that over there? Matthias Vina, Jesus, and we got Pope Marvels. Also, sorry guys, I was into that little debate, but this was a nice uh, Uruguay. Uh, gold, 9 out of 10, which uh, is going to Michael. Got a blue coming up. Here's blue. And it's Robin Olsen. Sweden. Sweden's going to Robert Runko. And Zlatan. Uh, like For sure, Deep Porter. Especially a, a, a revolving around this NFL nowadays, you need a quarterback more than you need a running back. I mean, look at the Eagles, for instance. I love Miles Sanders, although he, he was a little banged up a lot this year, more than usual. But even when Miles Sanders wasn't in the game running, you had other running backs like Jordan Howard and Boston Scott filling in and doing exactly what Miles Sanders could do, you know? So, yeah, most most teams don't really rely on a one strong running back like Titans do with Derrick Henry. <laughs> you know, it's like that's the rarity right there. Or like Jonathan Taylor this year, you know? I think you can find, you can find replacements for running backs easily more than you can find, more than you can find uh, the quarterbacks. Dijan. I don't know. I could but gold is really nice. It's true. I'll take that too. Nice. Giovanni Reina. <laughs> the Packers are cursed, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I'm, I'm kind of not nervous for this game on Sunday, on Sunday for my Eagles because, you know, I... It's not going to shock me if they upset the top, the uh, the Bucks. It really isn't. Neymar Jr. Eagles got a solid D. You know they give up points, but kind of more bend but don't break. They got a strong run game. And that's really what you need in the playoffs. You know Buccaneers going into this a little banged up. Also players out with COVID potentially, and then also you know Antonio Brown putting on a show couple weeks ago so I just I'm just not gonna be shocked if they upset 
All right, guys, so there you go. We got a kaboom there. In the first box is much better than the second box, but we still got a gold over here in the second box, though. Zlatan and then Valderrama. So there you go, guys. This was not a promo break, but, again, number six is sold out, so we'll run that back. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesKateBreaks.com.